Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In the years immediately following World War II, the world was in a place of unsteady and uneasy peace. Out of the ashes of war, the United States emerged as the leader of the free world and began to shoulder the bulk of the responsibilities for maintaining global peace after the most destructive war in human history. At the head of the United States during these crucial post-war years was a man of conviction who was willing to make tough decisions for the betterment of the world. He was the 33rd President of the United States, Harry Truman. Now the argument can be made that there was never a president in the history of the country who inherited a tougher hand than Truman did. But he showed extraordinary wisdom in the face of a tense time in the nation's history. Born in 1884, Truman was a veteran of World War I, having served in France as a captain in the U.S. Army. Truman entered the national scene in the Senate as a Democrat in 1934 and served high up in the U.S. political ladder during the Second World War. Now, he was chosen by President Franklin Roosevelt to be Roosevelt's running mate in the 1944 election, which Roosevelt would win for a record fourth consecutive time. But Roosevelt's health was failing, and in April of 1945, he died, leaving the leadership of the nation in Truman's unsuspecting hands. Still, Truman proved up to the task. He guided the nation through the end of World War II, making one of the most controversial but important decisions in human history. Rather than risking millions more Japanese and American lives in an invasion, Truman signed off on dropping two newly invented atomic bombs on the Japanese Empire in August of 1945. And though many Japanese citizens were killed, the decision forced an unmovable and stubborn Japanese empire into surrender, thus ending the most catastrophic war in human history. But Truman's work was only beginning, for in the aftermath of the war, a potentially far more sinister foe was arising in the former U.S. ally, the Soviet Union. During his two terms in office, Truman brilliantly navigated this tense relationship with the USSR, which also had obtained the nuclear bomb only a few years after World War II. Truman orchestrated one of the most inspirational rescue operations in political history with the Berlin Airlift of 1948 and 1949, where he forced Russia to lift a blockade of, of free West Berlin without firing a single shot. He also managed to avoid all-out war with both Russia and China and hold back the tide of communism in North Korea with the Korean War, even though it did not end in outright American victory. Voluntarily finishing his role as president in 1953, Truman lived until he was 88 years old, dying in the year 1972. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.